there were occasions, sort of late 90s, early 2000s, where CGI came to prevalence. So it, it was at the, the tip over point where artists can create whole scenes and really impressive visual effects completely in the computer without the need for visual effects, without the need for uh, camera based special effects, rather. Um, it was the tipping point between where practical effects weren't quite as expensive as computer effects. When computer effects became slightly less expensive, people, you know, directors went, I can do anything with this now. Perhaps with a bit more money, I can, you know, my full artistic vision can be realised. The problem is that creates situations where um, you maybe have a camera sequence that is impossible, that would be impossible to film in real life. Now that works and it, it looks great, but the audience can pull from um, the disbelief that they're sat in enjoying the film. They, they feel that they're part of it. Um, having an impossible camera angle detracts from that. So the audience is aware when they're watching a film that it should be shot on a camera and this is actors and it's a set they're in. As soon as you have um, a camera flying from the top to the bottom of a rocket ship in Apollo 13, for example, um, or entire cities with complete CG characters and drone armies in the, um, in the Star Wars prequels, unless it looks photorealistic, it can detract from the overall experience.